I just wanna know, baby, if I hit your phone Is you picking up, baby, tell me what you want Never get no fuss, baby, I was all alone so What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel, the one of two uploads for today. It is currently February 15th, 2021 at about 9 a.m. We wanted to film this at around 7 a.m. For what you know, we gotta get our rest and we gotta get our beauty sleeping. So it is finally time for the Supreme. What? Fall knows SS2021 lookbook to be unveiled. It came out today about 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, about 3 a.m. PST. And it is time, baby. It is fucking time. Now, if you guys didn't know, last season, I wasn't too excited about Supreme. I kind of just stopped making videos. And I did in-store vlogs. We'll continue making those in-store vlogs as well. But in terms of making those retail and resale weekly videos, it's going to be TBA, depending on the week and the jump. We're not going to make them weekly unless I get a lot of demand for it. But really, honestly, I feel like just Supreme has just become really, really oversaturated uh, with a bunch of people making videos on it. And it's a bunch of resellers just trying to flip Supreme. And not that many people are buying Supreme for themselves that much anymore that's i understand why kind of at the same time but at the same time like i wish it wasn't so much oversaturated like, it, like just even a few years ago market used to be a lot better and it used to be like a I'm not gonna lie, kind of like a better community not to sound so cliche but here we go so this is the preview right the preview is kind of kind of oh wait this is it yes this is it so the lookbook is right here okay so lookbook is him wearing all this shit we're not gonna get into that all right we're gonna get straight up right into the pre oh well, i just clicked the wrong thing again i'm telling you this site is gonna be mad hard to navigate as for manual boys this season i hope they get some new bot protection because it's been really really tough lately uh right off the bat from this image i can tell all right i'm not gonna lie to you the only thing i looked at today was a was a jet ski we're, we're getting a damn jet ski how are they gonna drop this jet ski probably like they dropped the motorbike just friends and family or the dirt bike i just say but here we go. We're going to get into the first category right here. All right. We zoomed in. Paisley print right off the bat. I see. Not really kind of. It's like a bandana faux fur bomber jacket. Okay. Oh, let's see what else we got out here. We got Supreme Vanson. Now, we know Vanson drops every single season, but it's very, very expensive. Every single time is extremely, extremely expensive. Um, how am I feeling about this one? Definitely not a vibe for me. I don't really cop these type of jackets, but it they do look good. They do look better than what they usually drop. Usually they try to go a little bit too weird. Like Supreme Science tries sometimes to be too weird and it ends up being way too whack. Um, let's see what else we got. Other fans in collab. Dude, I'm really just excited for the accessory and the collaborations this, this season. Just accessories and collaborations. Lookbook stuff. That's been dope, but it's just not something I've been super, like, what is this? Uh, it's like, it reminds me of the smoke tea they dropped a few seasons ago, but yeah, that's not it. Clothing right now. The jackets right now are just not looking too hot. What is this? This is actually kind of heat. This is, I love the fleece jackets they be dropping. The fleece jackets are one, one of my favorites items they ever drop. This one's kind of tough. I won't lie to you. Reminds me of those uh, stained glasses from a church. You know, it's trying to stay blessed out here. Uh, let's go on to a few more pieces. Miss. This is another miss. Uh, like, what is what is this? This looks just too wack. It's a track jacket. They ain't gonna go for much. I mean, you can't always judge stuff by the resale value either. You gotta look at it for what it's worth to you. Honestly, right now, right off the bat, I ain't seeing shit. <laughs> I really am not seeing anything. Of course, we got the seasonal tuxedos. Uh, floral stuff coming down. Yeah, not a vibe either, bro. There really is no... Dude, jackets are typically... I mean, all right, we're not that deep into it just yet, but... Typically, their jackets are... Oh, no, we're in the all category. Jesus, we're in the wrong category. We gotta go to the jackets category. All right, this is a better view at it. All right, here we go. Jackets. All right, Gore-Tex sticker one ain't bad. All right, I kind of like this all-over vibe. It's It looks decent. Typically, I don't like all-over, but the fact that they got all these iconic Supreme... Oh... This is like some premium shit right here. Look, bro. We got, oh, we got the Ferrari. We got the Supreme Bling Bogo. We got the Anarchy. Oh, my goodness. We got the Gons. Wow. This was a bottle cap. It's more like a little bit old newer design. This is the clown stuff that end up never releasing to the public. If you guys know the history behind this one, then they can't drop stickers, NTs. Only a few people have this Menace to Society we got right here. A few people only have that clown stuff coming down. We got the World Famous logo. We got the, uh, the, the Lucids. The, like, right. Or am I bugging? Whatever. Wolf of Wall Street drugs over there. We got the dollar bill that dropped in like 2017-ish. Yeah, I mean, this one's dope. I won't lie to you. This, the Tide, the Tide, quote-unquote Tide logo. That one's dope for sure. Varsity jackets. Not fan of the Eagle. Not that. Uh, Gore-Tex. Ooh. Ooh, this Gore-Tex one ain't bad. This looks like a clean one. This looks like a clean Gore-Tex one. Last season, for the Gore-Tex club, we saw a lot of the uh, Smurf shit going down. Don't know where that came from. Came out of left field. 
But this Gore-Tex Supreme one is clean. It looks, it kind of reminds like Art Arcteryx. Kind of reminds like something like Palace would do as well. More of like a low-key, just subtle vibe out here with like little pockets back and front. Cool little ski jacket as well. If you don't know, we've been shredding the powder lately this entire winter season. Black is clean. It's very, very subtle. Oh, all right. Here's the full look. Let's go back. Clean right here. I like this. I'm a, I'm a fan of the Gore-Tex collab right over here. All right. Let's see. Dragon track jacket. Um... I'm really, as you, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm breezing through this. I just want to get the, oh, yo, this is gas. The Anoraks, if you guys don't know the end of the Patrick Anorak from, uh, I want to say two or three years ago, he's doing crazy numbers, almost like a over a thousand dollar jacket. Anoraks like this with this like subtle all over print tend to do really, really well. I see this one doing hot. This one in a size small, going to do numbers. This one in a size, I'd say small XLs. Oh, smalls and XLs are always the best size to go for. But yeah, so far there's only like two jackets, Gore-Tex and that floral one that I'd, I'd really, really go go wild over. Next, we got some shirts. Okay, this looks like the, the, the dump of New York City. Supreme Coca- Oh, are they hinting at a Supreme Coca-Cola collaboration once again? If you didn't know, they dropped a Coca-Cola box logo way back in the day. Wasn't an official collaboration. Oh, we got Muhammad Ali. Dash's Wall Rayon. Dan Colon, the artist. Not gonna lie, I never heard of this one, but this looks like New York Post, very much so New York inspired. Dope. All right, I, I kind of get the vibe. Would I wear it? No, but I, I, I appreciate the oh oh, one ninety Bowery baby. Look at this. We got the Supreme here. I want to say this was taken. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that little detail right here? Little license plate shit coming on right here. Little license plate action over there. The taxi. I don't want to say this was taken in the summer of last year. Looks like a summer, summer vibe over here. You can probably tell by the graffiti because that changes every few months. Uh, but we got, oh no, we got this stuff on the wall. This might have been during COVID when those riots were going on in the city. Possibly. They actually, if you didn't know, Supreme got their whole, the, their window shattered. Uh, people got into the store and actually looted shit out of there, which is a wild sight to see. Jamie Reed, F all, fire. Okay, tops and sweaters category. This one is simply not that interesting. This is a cool little alphabet children one. Yo, what's up with him again? This man is back. I caught the rayon of, of this human, of this man's. Uh, I pr mispronounced his name last season. I'm probably going to do it again. But Che, che Hooded Zip Up Sweatshirt, not a fan of it either. But I did cop the rayon that they dropped last week. I mean, last season, I should say. This is pure Americana right here. We got the eagle. Looks like in a digital format on the American flag. Biggie? Oh, shit. That's fire. Would not wear this because I don't like this overprint, but that's fire that they're bringing back Biggie. If you didn't know, they did a little collaboration with them a few years ago as well with this album cover. Oh, uh, Intar. Mm, this one's kind of cool. A little bit of a, too much of a big logo for me, but I respect it. This one's cool. It's a little bit of a low key, low key, more low key a, a, approach to this. I'm also kind of confused by a lot of these pieces, if you guys can tell. All right, here are the t-shirts. So t-shirts should be dropping. Oh, this isn't the t-shirts that are going to be dropping week one. These are the more expensive tees that they're dropping. They'll be a little bit more expensive than the usual $36 basic tees we see. Because these are going to be more of a higher quality, more like thicker garments as well. Cam necklace. Um, oh, this one reminds me big vibes of like old school Supreme right here. We got the world, uh, not world, the Empire State Building right here. Supreme Classics. Mitchell and Ness official Official Mitchell and S collaboration. That's cool to see. Um, Polly Eyelid Mesh with Tackle with Twill logo. A plate came made exclusively for a Supreme. Ooh. Ooh, this one's kind of heat. I love that Apple logo. The Apple logo from New York. And I love that creme and red logo. I think that hits crazy, crazy well. Denim is fire as well. But so far, it's it's dope. Uh, Arabic logo is back over here, but it's a soccer jersey. Not a fan of soccer jerseys either. They just make them ridiculously expensive and just don't fit that well. As for sizing of Supreme, I would say you definitely have to size up. I used to wear the t-shirts, but they just got too small for me. I used to wear an XL, believe it or not, but they shrink crazy for me at least. I do like to hang dry my stuff, but at the same time, they end up just shrinking no matter what I do. Oh! <laughs> yes, sir! Yes, sir, bro! It's time! Thank you. Thank you for bringing this back, Supreme. I, I fucking love cause if you didn't know... What, Oh, dude, 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 I need a cop, dude, I need, I need, I need, not I want, I, this is a necessity over here, 
I need everything they're dropping. I need every cost item they're dropping. What color am I copping? Probably black or gray. I just got my, that's like the only two colors I wear. Or like navy, but I don't see this purple. I'm not really navy, but oh. Cause hinted at this shit last season when they dropped the folding chairs. That was the first time we saw Cause really post about Supreme in a long ass time. Bro, I am super, super hyped about this collaboration. I'm super, super hyped, bro. I can't see what else they got up here because I love Cause, baby. I love that shit. Oh, I'm so excited. Hell yeah. All right, so with the Everlasting Hooded Sweatshirt, that I got me set. All right, we're, we're, we're turning this shit up a bit. We got the jersey over the hoodie, not a fan. So oh, shit. Swarovski is back? Look at that. Not a fan of the rainbow stuff, but but we got other like regular Swarovski silver. Ooh. I wonder what retail is going to be on this hoodie. Most likely around 250 I mean, the box logo hoodie was around way more than that. I think it was around 400 but that was also like a box logo. They're going to overcharge for that for sure. But uh, we have seen Supreme raise retails throughout multiple seasons, so it's going to be interesting to see if they raise retails on stuff going into this season as well. But this season, I'm telling you, collaborations is going to be what's going to really carry this season. We got the Dunks. That's number one on everyone's list. The Nike SB Dunk Lows. Dude, this Swarovski shit is gas too, bro. I won't lie to you. But would I wear it? Probably not, but... I only wear camo. I want to see probably going to be silver Swarovski crystals on camo as well. Oh, the brown too. This mocha vibe might hit as well. We all, all we need is Travis to wear and stock goes up. Um, let's see what we got. With a gone star hooded. I'm trying to go one at a time. I'm not trying to wander my eyes down. But Swarovski once again. These two, baby. Gas, absolutely. Oh, um, let's see. Denim logo. We're going to go one at a time. Gons logo. I have I have Gons as a hoodie from a long time ago. He dropped when I used to be a cringy ass Supreme kid. Or maybe I still am. I don't know, but that was bad times. Well, all right, we got Dash's wall stuff back at it. Embroidered S logo. Uh, Supreme Vance and hoodies. We don't ever see them drop hoodies like this. This is going to be like a thick workwear hoodie, it looks like. Because Vanson always knows about that quality. They're always about that quality. We got two box logs on the side. Gas as well. This is what I'll sum up the Dash's wall hooded sweatshirt. Also kind of fire. This is like the all a New York Post shit coming on it. Laser cut S logo. Interesting. No Swarovski, but looks like there's a little bit of Crystallis going down on this one with laser cut logos. Okay. I don't like old English font anymore. Vampire boy hooded sweatshirt. Ooh, that looks like some good quality embroidery. It looks like almost like felt on the uh, red part of the hoodie. A little childish at the same time, but I understand. I respect it. Oh, dude, this season I'm down, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, so there's only like four must cops for me, but I feel like, you know, it's about a Get yeah, get turned up fast. Small box logo is a typical thing. This reminds me FTP arc, but it reminds me kind of like the Supreme collab. I mean, Supreme and Yankees collab they did. Uh, that looks like just like the same font. Looks like they're dropping a lot of brown hoodies. Maybe they're coming back with that vibe as they should, because brown I feel like a mocha is like a, a colorway that everyone's. Ooh, this one's clean too, bro. I keep on get keep on losing my train of thought out here. But as I was saying, I feel like brown is just a color that's being like you know how. Two seasons ago, it was like purple. Then it was like natural, like the color of the season. I feel like brown is going to be the color of the season for uh, fall into 2021. Shine hooded sweatshirt, classic uh, logo as well. All right, so that's the hoodies so far. This one was dope right here. I like this crew neck. Not a, not a personal cop, but I do like that whole brown of plaid work. Um, yeah, all right. So this one's gas. Don't care. I'm trying to see if I missed anything because last season I missed a few things that ended up being super, super heat. Yeah, okay, I'm going to say these two are in top two. All right, next we want to pants, which are kind of like a lackluster category for Supreme most of the time. We got Gore-Tex, okay. Uh, typically, they drop the same stuff they've seen um, with the hoodies. Now, these pants are something they dropped pre somewhat similar to what they dropped previously, and I slept on them completely, but this looks... Oh, no, this is like real Patrick. I thought it was like laser cut, you know, like just dyed differently. This looks like it's like overflapping, so it might be like legit Patrick patterns. So it might just really be overflapping. Overlapping... The material, but okay, those are the pants, the de the denim jeans. Let's go back. Oh, okay, not a fan of this one. Too much logo work going on over here, but this might do some money. Might just do some money. I don't like my I like my jeans like simple. I don't even wear that many jeans. I'm more like a cargo guy myself. And I wish Supreme really went heavy with their cargos. I mean, we got cargo pants here, but it's all cotton with drawstring and cuffs, bro. You need twill. You need really good twill. Actually, it looks like it. Carhartt work in progress. I'm telling you, if they did a collab with Carhartt, which I would die to. See, no, I'm not gonna die for Supreme no more. But if they did a collaboration with Carhartt, psh, you already know the vibes. I have to cop every single piece. Um, pants, I'm gonna breeze through. Oh, Swarovski S logo is back. Gone stars. Too much for me. More like a cozy at home vibe. Would not go in public with that. But all right, pants are cool. Shorts. They typically go crazy with the shorts for the salt spring summer vibe, and it's looking beetle shorts. 
Why do you need that? I don't know. All right, we got Beatles shorts. We got Hurricane Water shorts. This is some real Alabama shit right here. Or maybe if you're just a regular human, you might like. I honestly kind of like those. The real tree. Looks like it's not a real tree. It's, it's moss. I can't even read that print on the inside. But a real tree simply like the main cat camel pattern that a lot of brands use. Um, shorts. This matches the reminds me big time of the uh, Nike collab from a minute ago, a long, long time ago. The jersey and the shorts. Labels peak peak way shorts. All right, so we got some uh, labels here with Supreme, but not oh, kind of hinting at a Patagonia collab right here. But this is all like new, new. This is all a bunch of new. Wow, this is all new logos that we've never seen before. Uh, so this might hint at some upcoming collab, upcoming pieces they might be dropping. I wish they did a Patagonia. I'm telling you, Supreme, I feel like they know what they got to do. Um, they're going to be dropping a lot of like older stuff. You know, we got Cause back. We got Swarovski. We got, they're going to be bringing back a lot of like their classic prints, like the classic applique logo they're bringing back. They got Gons back working up in the studio. So they're bringing back a lot of the classics. All right, now we're about to get into t-shirts, which do drop week one, which is going to be the week one SSTs. They typically do go, there's about two that go stupid hard and the rest are kind of passes. Uh, what the, f what is this? Raphael, <laughs> bro, you couldn't do a better photo tee, but we, eh, no, nah, it's not a photo tee, bro. It's not a real photo tee. A real photo tee is when you got the actual collaborator wearing this shit straight up on body with the box logo. They haven't done a real photo tee, bro, in ages, dude. In ages, they haven't done a real photo tee, and I'm really upset about that. But this is the, this is the, we knew this was coming. It was unfortunately leaked out, so it's not that exciting. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Prodigy Mob Deep, baby. We got the uh, box logo stickers dropping from Prodigy. We got a few more items coming out. T-shirt, I'm not really a fan of. The box logo sticker that you'll see on the screen is absolutely stupid, ridiculous fire. Must, must get them stickers in a nice fat pack. Skeleton tee. This is, um, okay, I like this. This is once again the classic logo they did drop on one of their first ever tees that they did release in 1994, 1995 ish. This was a design they used. This is the Applicate Classic logo. Center body. This is a great cop, great person, nice low key. Looking, looking just plain. Pretty good, pretty simple. Ear tee. Don't know why you would need that. This one is a water pistol tee. Not excited for this one either. When they when they when they typically do a t-shirt like this or any type of design where the person is actually rocking or like having a supreme accessory, it looks like a fake tee you could find at Supreme Ibiza or like Supreme Spain or Supreme China. That's what kind of reminds me of because they kind of did start dropping that first. But if you look closely, it is an official licensed t-shirt, so it is in collaboration with somebody. Um, then we got this mouse tee, great tee, wind tee. None of these are a cop, bro. Unfortunately, I mean, besides five burrows, only one. No great photo tee. I mean, we got Raphael out here, but he looking type crazy. We got hats. Um, I'm not really gonna go too deep into hats. I'm not a fan of hats unless they got something crazy. We're gonna breeze through these real, real brief. I don't know. Um, yeah, no, we're not gonna go into that. I'm go I'm trying to go into a bag. Oh, oh, this is the classic. This is the classic uh, camo print we did see on the uh, that cringy ass Supreme box logo. Uh, not really cringy, but the, it became cringy after a while because so many kids were caught wearing it. But this bag looks some good. It was a Cordura. Absolutely, I love Cordura bags. The other bags they used to drop with a different brand like two seasons ago was absolutely horrendous. Shitty quality. Cordura is the brand to go with, and these look like really really thick quality bags. I definitely might have to cop one for myself. I'm gonna have to do with the black camo is a bit too loud for me. These look like they could do good money, but unfortunately, bags just don't do crazy numbers like they once used to. Oh, we got band. You know, everyone's about to go crazy for the bandana shit. Waist bag is also looking kind of fire. You can see the quality already right off the bat looks absolutely magnificent. These waist bags might do really really hot, but once again, bags. I don't know what happened, but after SS18, when those bags shot up to like four hundred dollars. I still have a few. Hopefully, <laughs> they're still holding up their value, but uh, I still have them, and uh, they reached like four hundred dollars. And after that, no bags have ever done that well. Vanson, Wine Vampire. Oh, this is back again. Damn it, bro. We held our canvas bag. Oh, it was rumored that this was gonna be like a, a staple bag that they were gonna drop every single season, like the White Air Force ones. Or oh, I'm, they got oh, they do got a shoes category. So let's see what happens over there. Hopefully, we got some flax Air Force ones. Canvas tote, canvas backpack. Looks like don't be holding these items. I thought this would have been a great hole for the new school year season coming out next season, but looks like they're gonna be dropping this regularly. So keep that in mind. That's uh, not a really great hold. I really don't ever hold Supreme. Just advice. Don't don't be holding Supreme like that. Accessories. Now this is the category where where Supreme is known to go wild for. 
Here it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Right off the bat. Wow, bro. Holy shit. Okay, first of all, we do got to talk about this. What? What the fuck is up with this, bro? No more images? I want to see more images, bro. Wow. First of all, their promo video for this is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Second of all, fortunately, looks like this is going to be only friends and family. I, I don't even know what to say right now, bro. This is all that. This is once again in, uh, the same exact. Um, we got Obama right here. We can peep that. We got the regular box. We got the clowns. This is the same uh, print that they're using as they did on that hoodie that brought back a lot of their older logos. We got the Supreme on the seat. This shit's going to be at least like. Ten thousand dollars, just around ten thousand. But once again, it's probably gonna be only your friends and family because how are they gonna sell this? Ain't <laughs> you ain't carrying this out the store, shipping it to? That's not gonna happen. You're probably gonna have to pick it up at a dealership if you can somehow successfully cop it. But um, yeah, this is this is gonna be a crazy, crazy one. Also, I would not. I mean, I, would, I, would, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'd even buy it myself. To tell you the truth, if I had, if I was stupid rich, I don't know if I'd buy it. But I probably would if I was stupid rich. But the same time, it's like, why, <laughs> why? But anyway, so we got this fridge, which is I, which was leaked out a minute ago, and this is an absolutely must cop for me. This is Smeg Mini fridge, which is gonna be pretty expensive because there's fridges that right off the bat cost a lot of money. Then we got this tray, not a fan. All right, we're gonna one of one of one fifty. Yo, did we just like hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up? Made in the Netherlands, hand pinned. This kind of reminds me of the. Uh, of the uh, porcelain uh, figure that they did drop. Wow. What if this is one of 150? Money, dude. All right. So this is like a quarter for reference. So this is a pretty, pretty big plate. But if it's one of 150, uh, that's going to be crazy. All right. We got the v Vitra P Paton chair classic. I like this chair. Um, It looks very fucking expensive. This is one I'm super hyped for as well, dude. I'm trying to get into this whole little EDM house vibe music, and this is one I feel like this could be a a, a high professional. I don't really know what the fuck it is. Sample drum machine and MIDI controller with printed logo, 16 velocity sensitive RGB drum pads, built-in speakers, and stereo studio studio monitoring. This is an item that's definitely gonna drop week one. It looks like an item that's gonna drop week one. What what is this? Why? What what value is this? New York City world famous. This looks stupid expensive as well. Justine, world famous champion ring, 23k layered sun castle gold coated lusterium ring rings, anatomy filled logo CZ inlay engraved. Okay, all right. Right now, jet ski cop. Why not? Right? Why? Why do I need it? I don't know, but it's a cop. Fridge is a cop. Cereal right here is actually going to be popping up. Uh, it looks like there's only two colors. Supposed to supposed to be there was rumored to be more colors than this, but it's official Wheaties collaboration. It's one box printed logo. It'll be available at your Walmart's. A lot of your local retailers, so make sure you check that for them. I know some already started popping up. I already knew this is coming out because it's been leaked for quite some time. So jet ski fridge, cereal, this DG AKI MPC Live 2. These also, these spray cans look gas, bro. This looks exactly what you would want to see with Supreme and Montana mini cases, but absolute cop right here. Challenge complicated table lamp. Yo, this is also fire, dude. The Yashica MF1 disposable camera. With, with fixed 31 millimeter lens and built in flash. Also going to see some cool photos of Supreme on this. Their whole promotional video is going to be gas for sure. But um, yeah, I, I'm a fan of that one. Well, let's see if this one's number two. Do they show the underbelly of? Oh, we're back with the rolling baseball bat. Chrome maple wood. Chrome maple wood. Never thought I, that's possible. Chrome maple wood. This looks crazy expensive too. But yeah, we got all the years of Supreme's existence. Hopefully that shit continues. Wow. All right, we got Nerf. This was also leaked out, so it's not too much of a surprise, but Nerf. Also, I thought they would have went, 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 went a way different route. Got me fucked up. All right, we're back, y'all. We had to take a brief intermission. All right, here we go. We got Lawn Chairs is back. Listen, the Lawn Chair first came out last season or two seasons ago, last summer vibe. But this is more like a little relaxing, like a lounge, lounge, like lay down type of chair, okay? Let's see what we got else. We got the, we saw those, the Rolling Baby. Those are super, super heat. Oh! Maybach. Oh no, I'm 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 dead. I'm blind as shit, bro. I thought that said Maybach. No idea how I saw that said that. But this is a Supreme bodyboard, baby. Oh, fire ass bottles. I've never heard of the brand Zoku. Sounds mad Japanese. 16 ounce BPA free with pure 
Not even gonna bother reading that, but it's glass. I love glass bottles. I don't like the uh, plastic shit because, you know, those BPAs and those chemicals up in plastic don't do you justice. Don't do your bot. Yo, tell you, Supreme is bringing back some OG pieces, and I'm super, super here for it. Oh, uh, this is like that keychain, the bike chain they did a minute ago with Fragment, if I'm not mistaken. Way weird type of thing that they did with Fragment with, um... With, with that whole team over there, and that was a wild thing they did a few, few years ago. Nerf gun, as I said, I wish they did something a little bit different, but I never heard of the takedown blaster. I think this is one of the new Nerf guns with the balls. I'm just used to the old school Nerf guns with those little, like, you know, styrofoam shits, those little bullets. All right. Marathon alarm clock? Oh, please tell me this is an alarm clock, not just a regular clock. LCD detachable. What the hell? Frisbee? It looks, that looks like Van Gogh type of shit. This is Supreme Sickle marathon clock, plastic with printed LCD detachable stand. If that's an alarm clock, that's dope. I might have to use that. I need to start waking up on time. Ooh, we got a dice set. That's what's up. That's fine. We got a nice little case for them, too. They look like they're uh, aluminum alloy dice. Uh, alloy dice. Not alloy. What the? What am I saying? It's alloy dice set, okay? We got alloy dice set right up here. Damn, this looks like the, they did this already, bro. What, are they bringing it back? Damn. Supreme, I expected something new from you guys. We already seen this before. So they're getting a little bit lackadaisical. We have a new word we learned. Lackadaisical in some of these damn categories, bro. I don't know. They did this shit already. I want to see something new. All right, we skipped over a few. Can I go back, please, a bit? All right, there we go. All right, we got a leather tool. This dropped last season, too. Oh, we might need... The oh, is this a box opener? Mar cartoon cutter. So, okay. I'm assuming this is a cart... Cart carton cutter. I'm assuming you can use this to open packages because we need this. We need this. If you guys watch my unboxings, you know I need this bad. Power Station Plus Excel. We got a new iPhone case. Looks not a fan. Patrick Ranger Belt. Five Burrows Towel. That's Gatway. What is this, bro? Bike. Oh, this is a purple bike pump. Yo, that's gas as well. This is actually something you can... Act I love... Dude, I really like when Supreme makes actual useful shit, not just some dumb stuff. Like, you can actually use that. You can actually use this board. I mean, you can actually use all this stuff. But, like, in actual, like, daily, daily life, you can use this lock. You can use a bottle. And it's not, like, too extreme. You know what I'm saying? This is just a little bit. This is a little bit extreme for me. And this is a little bit extreme for me as well. But, hey, yo, still super. Oh, we got purple Hanes. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, what the fuck? That's hilarious, bro. Coding crazy, dude. Holy shit! It looks like you were just at the party. You got white on. You got white on. You pulled out. You spilled that drink over all over you, and now you got purple ass underwear with Supreme Hanes. That's funny as hell. That's 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 really clean. That's fine. I would not wear those, but hey, yo, that is what I just strictly wear all black Hanes. I wear them every day. Hanes Supreme, very comfortable. You don't even have to wear Supreme. You can just wear regular Hanes. But I just think the black ones are just classics. All the way to go. Keychains, what? <laughs> why, dude? Why do we? Do... I don't know. We know. I, I say why, but it's not a surprise. That's premium dropping some of this funny shit. This is cool. I wish that I didn't see this design anywhere on any pieces in itself. Oh, uh, let's see if we're yeah we're still recording. We're good to go. Leather key loop. All right, accessories are are dope for sure. So must cop for me lighter. We already have the, the dice set. Yes. This cartoon cutter. Yes. Surfboard. A surfer hopefully soon but this bodyboard yes the bottle ball yes keychain yes and fl oh we got a sleeping mat oh we got a sleeping mat is back oh yes okay black one what self landing oh sleeping mat oh it's a mat not a sleeping bag i'm bugging so this is just a mat i guess you can blow up and it's like a little cushion Honestly, very clutch for camping and going outdoors. Might have to get the black one. We'll see. Not really a must cop, though, for me. Must cop six items so far. Okay, definitely these uh, set of six cans. It's gas that they're selling at set of six and not individually. That would have been stupid annoying. This uh, DJ set, definitely. Wheaties, yes. Fridge, yes. So that's about 10 must cop. Like, I need that shit for the collection. All right, so not bad. I mean, hey, not, not terrible. Uh, but I don't, I don't have, like, a... I don't see, like, a, a trend with these accessories. Typically, we see a trend, like, oh, it's just for, like, fishing vibes or, like, outdoor vibes. Right now, I see all... It's, like, definitely a summer vibe, but it's, like, all over the place at the same time. So, we'll see how this season goes, but, of course, collaborations are the way to be. Oh, no, 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 we're skipping the... Oh, okay. All right, we're back. All right, rumor was that we supposedly might not see these come back. We might just see the Flax Air Forces come back, but... Looks like we'll have these forces back in town. Expecting to drop week one. Once again, online and in-store will be releasing the 18th. And here we are to the last category, ladies and gentlemen, of Skate... Oh, shit. Full set vibes, bro. We need the full set. I'm But if this is the only items we see from Cause, I'm going to be really upset, bro. Only, we saw, only saw the hoodie. 
and the decks. We I really hope we see t-shirts, but I really hope this drops week one as well. And I really, really, really need this full set, bro. If they don't drop the full set, I'm gonna be super, super tight. But this is a must, hundred percent, thousand percent, must get this item in hand. Also, prodigy, prodigy deck is dope, but I have too many decks. And I don't even know how to skate that well. So I mean, I'm, I'm gonna chill it out. But definitely, this is the one. But other than that, though, these decks are not that good. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. This one's actually. Uh, this is the. Yeah, all right. This was kind of dope just because they have all the classic logos. I would cop probably the wooden board right here just because I'm a fan of it, but not really a must, must cop. Nothing that makes me too excited, but definitely causes making me the number one collaboration so far. Plus Nike SBs. You can't forget about Nike SBs. So yeah, my rating on the entire lookbook, and I'd say it's probably like a, a solid 7 out of 10. I mean, I wish they did more with the jackets. Jackets feel lackluster. T-shirts feel lackluster. Accessories are definitely carrying this season, and so are the collaborations. Decks are kind of also a little bit lackluster. Shoes, we'll see that pop out with more shoes. We'll see more shoes drop later this season. Oh, uh, this is just a classic Air Force one, so if you're holding on to them, I expect prices to drop a considerable amount. Not too crazy, because listen, they restock them every season. Every season, they go down, but they go back up, and uh, they don't drop too crazy. But anyways, jackets, not that good. Uh, T-shirts, tops, not that good either. I really say once again, it's all about uh, the the uh, accessories and the collaborations for this season. So that's it for me. Hope you guys. Enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about this season below. Tomorrow we'll have a. I mean, today we'll have a second upload. So make sure you stay tuned for that. That's it for me. Peace.